school year in the home stretch, these playoff squads will give you your best. Welcome back to the Game Clock. Let's dive into today's show with your local news. Lacrosse season has officially come to an end. Although it was a rough year for both the boys and the girls, the girls finished their year strong with a 5-3 win over Chester, and the boys beat Saugerties in their senior night. So, both teams ended on a high note. Boys baseball might have dropped their second senior night game in a row, but are sitting pretty for the playoffs. Their next game is today at Valley Central. I'm just getting word of my visible earpiece that that game has been canceled due to rain. As for girls flag football, they once again made it back to the playoffs. Unfortunately, their comeback fell short as they lost 35-24 to Middletown on Monday. In other news, boys track will travel to Warwick for counties this weekend. Enough to talk about that, let's move on to your pro sports. There's been a plethora of news coming out of the NFL, and one of the major reasons for this is the annual schedule release. All 32 teams received their schedules for the season, and the Giants and Jets will both be very active. The Jets play a whopping six primetime games. Their opponents are as follows. The 49ers on Monday Night Football. The Patriots on Thursday Night Football. The Bills on Monday Night Football again. The Steelers on Sunday Night Football. The Texans on Thursday Night Football. And the Colts on Sunday Night Football throughout the schedule. In Week 5, New York will also be making a trip to London to face the Vikings. The Jets will play the full NFC West and two AFC AFC South teams this season out of their non-conference games. As for the Giants, before their schedule was even released, it was announced they will be the focal point for the TV show Hard Knocks. Watchers will be getting behind the scenes of the Giants offseason and potential look at training camp streaming on HBO Max. As for their schedule, the G-Men have four primetime games. Cowboys on Thursday Night Football, Bengals on Sunday Night Football, Steelers in Pittsburgh on Monday Night Football, and again the Cowboys on Thanksgiving. Big Blue will also make a trip to Germany to play the Carolina Panthers. As for the playoffs, New York City saw its first scare of the year. Facing the Hurricanes, the Rangers could not have started any better. New York won the first three games of the series, holding a 3-0 lead. However, something awoke in Carolina. As the Hurricanes went on to survive elimination, winning Game 4 at home in Raleigh, and with their season on the line, Carolina stole Game 5 from the Rangers, handing the Blue Shirts their first home loss. Still up 3-2, the Rangers have a chance to close it out with Game 6 in Carolina tonight. Will the Rangers finally finish the job, or is the Game 7 at the Garden still hanging in the cards? Just when people thought New York couldn't get any better, we were quickly knocked back to reality. The Knicks, facing off against the rival Pacers, took the first two games at MSG. Unfortunately for the Knicks, the Pacers were undefeated on their home court. After a miracle win in Game 3, Indiana stomped the Knicks by 30 in Game 4. In a pivotal Game 5 at the Garden, New York silenced everyone. What you could do, I could do better. The Knicks dominated the Pacers with a 121-91 win in Game 5. Now with the series going back to Indiana, the Knicks have a chance to close the door and get their first berth to the Eastern Conference Finals since 2000. No matter who wins, the Celtics are waiting. That's all the time we have for today's show. I'm JJ Seglio, and we'll see you next week.